שלום, אמרו נסתור רבי סיין קל הלא יום לה, יהווי, בו השם, יהו שי, בו השם רקע הקודש, דבל אונס ראלדס ונפרסס אוף גריט מוסון פטיצ'ן אס דסטרוט, אין הוא הוא ווויל, פיסן סייטיישן סנטר ראקים דה ספרד ארון פור קונס אוף דיארט, ספרד אין דיסברד סנסירדי אין טרוט, שלום תראו פלילק, אמר דה ברדה קוטה זאב זיין, פרום דה ג'י.אם.אס, הולנד ברנץ', ואני בק, תלו דיספרד נפר אוף יהו בשם יהו שי, ודנת לסן, ודנת פרייר, אלוהד ווילינג דיספר God. So in this lesson, I want to go into Psalms 28, verse 9, and it reads, Save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Feed them also and lift them up forever. God. So this is, this is the prayer that I translated, and I entitled it, Save Thy People Prayer. Because the Most High, He had turned His back onto us, you know, for what our fathers did. But the Most High, He's going to bring back our captivity, meaning He's going to undo our captivity, you know. But He wants us to cry unto Him. He wants us to, to uh, seek His face. He wants us to seek his, his righteousness, you know, because that's the whole reason that we went through this whole ordeal, you know, of the wicked being in charge over us, seeing how the, the whole world is out of course, you know. Seeing these things, we yearn for righteousness. You see? Before I go into the prayer, let me go into the precept. Because the Most High, we are the Most High's people. And to prove that, let's go to Ezekiel 34. Verse 22. Therefore will I save my flock, and they shall no more be a prey, and I will judge between cattle and cattle. You see? And this is also a good point to bring out. Verse 23. And I will set up one shepherd over them, and he shall feed them. Even my servant David, he shall feed them, and he shall be their shepherd. And so this shows you that in the kingdom, when the kingdom of heaven is established here upon earth, then you're going to have uh, King David is going to be our, our king, you know. And Yahweh is going to be, of course, the king of kings. But underneath him, you're going to have King David ruling, you see. Come, but verse 22 says, the Most High will save his flock, you know. That's why when I started to read the Psalms 28, save thy people. And then this first came to mind. He's going to save his flock. And we are being seen as flock. Why? Because we are the most high sheep. This is Psalms 27, uh, 79, verse 13. So we, thy people, you see, like I was going into, we are the most high people. So we, thy people, and sheep of thy pasture, See, we are the sheep of the Most High's pasture. We'll give thee thanks forever. We will show forth thy praise to all generations. And this is what the Most High wants. The Most High just wants us to seek his face, to be thankful and grateful for what he's giving unto us. You know, because he brought us nigh to him. You know, we are the Most High's people. We are the Most High sheep, the sheep of his pasture. That's beautiful, man. You know, because we, we got that afro that woolly hair you know that the most high has and and his son has you know that's also kind of symbolic you know for that we are the sheep yeah man so we are the most highest people as it says in deuteronomy 7 and 6 he brought us uh, near unto him we are a holy people we are a set apart people and we are the sheep of his pasture you see because that's what he, he feeds us with, with his, with his pasture, which is his truth, which is his wisdom, knowledge, understanding. Let's go to Jeremiah 3, verse 15. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. You see? So this pasture that the Most High is giving unto us, through pastors, through his servants, the prophets, you know, 
that's that's that pasture is this wisdom, knowledge, understanding, you see, of the most high. Because if you also go into that word pasture, which is uh Raiha Raiha or Rai it says to pasture to tend to grace grace to feed to shepherd to rule teacher of people as flock you see so this word is the same word that is here in the Psalms twenty eight when it says feed them forever Wa Raim. You see, that word comes from uh, Raya. And also from what we just read in Psalms. Let me go to the history. Psalms 79 and 13. And if you go to the Strong concordance. Oh, so like yeah, this is a yeah, but it it comes from Rai Raya, you see. The root word. In the sense of feeding, pasturing. You see, this is the root word. So the Most High is feeding us this knowledge and understanding through the pasture the pastors that He set up, which are His servants. You know. And why does he send his servants? Let's go to Jeremiah 44, verse 4. Because he wants to save us. You know, he has a certain portion, a certain remnant that has to be saved. So he sends his prophets out up early, you know, so that they will hear this word and that they will turn back from their, their ways, you see. This is Jeremiah 44, verse 4. Howbeit I sent unto you all my servants, the prophets, rising early and sending them, saying, Oh, do not this abominable thing that I hate. But they hearkened not, nor inclined their ear to turn from their wickedness, to burn no incense unto other gods. You see, the Most High, Yahweh Shai, he's a jealous power, he's a jealous God. So he doesn't want his honor to go to other gods, you know, to other deities. So this is the main reason that the Most High brought his wrath upon his, his, his pasture, his inheritance, you know, on the, on the nation of Israel. <coughs> you see? But the Most High still has mercy because he sends his prophets early, rising up early. And that means not that they're standing in 3 o'clock a.m., on the corner of the streets prophesying no it means that they are rising up early before the destruction before the destruction comes you see the prophets are warning them do not this abominable thing that the most high hates you see there are many instances where it says that the most high is sending the prophets early if you just search for rising early then you will find a bunch of precepts where the Most High always sends his prophets before the destruction. And that's how he's saving them, you know. This is uh, Jeremiah 35, verse 4, 15. I have sent also unto you all my servants, the prophets, rising up early and sending them, saying, Return ye now every man from his evil way and amend your doings. And... Go not after other gods to serve them, and ye shall dwell in the land which I have given to you and to your fathers, but ye have not inclined your ears, your ear, nor hearken unto me. You see? And what's gonna be the aftermath from Jake's, which Jake's is uh, short for Jacob, the Israelites. So these these modern day Jake's that don't wanna hear that don't want to listen when the prophets and the servants are speaking unto them, these these wise words, you know, coming from straight from the most high. What's gonna to happen to them? They're gonna there's gonna be gnashing of teeth for them, you know, because they didn't listen, they didn't hearken unto the, the words of the most high. And they are gonna 
have their their portion in the lake of fire also you see but going back the most high is going to save his people you know the people that are hearkening unto this word they are going to be saved let's go to Zephaniah 3 verse 19 and it reads behold at that time I will undo all that afflict thee God, so these nations that are afflicting us according to Psalms 83 you know it's not only Esau Edom which is a so called white man no all these other nations they are afflicting us you see but the Most High is going to undo all of that and I will save her that halted and if you go into that word halted Halted is Tazalai. In the outline of biblical use, it says to limp, to limp. And if you go into the uh, Chaldee lexicon, it says to limp, to become lame, inclined to one side, a limping flock. You see, like we are going into, we are the flock of the Most High, we are the sheep of the Most High flocks wearied from the heat and with journeying used figuratively of israelites you see we are the sheep we are the flock and we are limping we are <coughs> we have been through this journey we have been from captivity to captivity to captivity and you know where we're on our last leg you know we're limping through this uh, last captivity but the most highs um, um blowing that breath of life back within us, you know, he's, he's bringing us, us uh, back to a certain level of knowledge, you know, which is going to push us over this, this finish line, man, so that we do finish the race, so that we do finish our journey, you see? Also going back, Zephaniah 3 verse 19, Behold, at that time I will undo all that afflict thee, and I will save her that halted, and gather her that was driven out. And we also know that according to Jeremiah 6 and 2, the Most High, he likens the daughter of Zion, which is the nation of Israel, as a calmly and delicate woman. You know, so when he speaks of her, and it also means the nation of Israel. And gather her that was driven out, driven out of her, out of Jerusalem. And I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. You see, so the Most High is going to put us up high. You know, now it's time for us to be meek, you know, to, to contain ourselves, wait for the Most High, wait until Yahweh Shai comes, till he rises up to the prey, you know, and then the Most High is going to put us in our, our proper position. You see, he's going to give us praise and fame. So to end it off, let me go to Zechariah 8, verse 7 and 8. And it reads, Thus said Yahweh, power of hosts, Behold, I will save my people from the east country and from the west country, and I will bring them, and they shall dwell in the midst of Jerusalem, and they shall be my people, and I will be their power in truth and in righteousness. You see? So this is what we're praying for. This is what we're yearning for. This is what we want. You know, we, we beg Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai that he comes and save us. You see? So that everything can be in righteousness again. So that everything can be in balance. You see? Gone. So without further ado, this is the prayer. Psalms 28, verse 9. And it reads, Save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Feed them also and lift them up forever. And in the Lashawan Kodash, it's Ha Washa Yai Ata Aimka Wa Barak Ata Nahalatka Waraim Wana Sha'am Aida Ha Aiwalam. And now with the understanding, Ha Washa Yai, which is to save, Ata is thou, Aimka is. Uh, I'm Ima is people, and the ka in the end makes it possessive, makes it thy people. Wa Barak, Wa is and, Barak is bless. Ata is thou, 
Nahalat ka. Nahalat is inheritance. And the ka in the end makes it possessive. Dine inheritance. Where Raim. Wa is end. Raim comes from Raya. Which is to feed. Wa. Nasha'am. Wa is end. Nasha'am is lift. Aida is up. Or as far as, or as far as, you know, so as much as possible. Aida is up or as much as possible. Ha, I will um. Ha is there, is, uh, points out to them. And I will um is forever. Gone. So you can also put Babakasha, 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 Yahu Basham, Yahu Shai in front of this prayer, which is please, 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 Yahu Basham, Yahu Shai, the Most High, in the name of His beloved Son. Then you uh, read the rest of this prayer, you know. And so, Lord willing, I hope this video and this prayer was edifying. And I want to say, Kal Halal Yamla, Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, Rekha Kudash, Shalom Akim.